We're at 5G World in London. I'm very pleased to be joined by Antje from Deutsche Telekom. Antje, great to see you. Nice to see you. We've heard already this morning at the various keynotes about the use cases of 5G. When can Deutsche Telekom customers expect 5G networks to be launched and what, what use cases will you be focusing on? First question, we are expecting the launch of a full standardized network in 2020. Um, the use cases, um, the number of use cases is so huge, um, hard to answer, probably better to answer in groups. So uh, we still believe uh, 5G needs to give an answer for the needs of our consumer because our biggest base. But also very, very interesting with 5G is whether we manage to um, offer something to our uh, industry partners. So a very thrilling discussions about the verticals, what do they actually need? Are we able as an operator to play a different role than just offer connectivity purely and can we do something on top and it's going to be a changed world obviously with these new types of use cases coming in does the regulation of the telecoms industry need to also change in order to reflect what telecoms will be i think it will be an automatic process yes um, we believe 5g is the future communication standard meaning that it's not only mobile so we have a truly converged networks in the future. And of course, we have today different regulations on fixed and mobile. And somehow we need to think about, or the regulator needs to think about how they want to approach um, 5G in the future, so. And what about the, the legacy networks that Deutsche Telekom have, 2G, 3G, LTE? What purpose will they serve within 5G networks, if any at all? Yes. So 4G development is not over yet. So we will have see over the next five to 10 years, still a lot of enhancement of uh, existing LTE networks. And LTE will be actually the base for 5G. So we do not define 5G by a new radio interface. We say 5G built on LTE networks. So that will be totally con um, combined for sure. Um, with the other legacy networks, it will depend on the country and on the structure, what is needed there. It is also always a question how you connect those different network layers, whether you truly integrate them in each other or you probably integrate only two and have a ne another network still running. That needs to be shown by the future. It's no decision yet. Thank you very much. Thank you.